Welcome to Nickel Clips. Today's topic, in teams, channels versus breakout rooms. I'm your host, Wendy Vasquez with QUEZ Instruction. So here I am inside my teams and I'm going to meet with my group. So this is my first period group. A lot of times we just hit meet. We get the new meeting, we hit join now, and then the students, when they come in, have this channel meeting here. So in this case, I haven't scheduled anything, I'm just doing a meet right now. That's one way to meet within my channels. And after ending the meet, they will have here, you'll notice here it was 47 seconds. Another way to do it is to actually go into my general tab and schedule a meeting. So instead of hitting meet now, I'm going to hit the arrow next to it and schedule a meeting. This is going to open up my schedule and I might say this is for the blue group and I'm going to change my channel from general to homeroom and grab my blue group. So now it's this meeting will happen in my blue group. When I hit send, it will actually send that meeting to my blue group and I can go ahead and join here. Now these are how my channel meetings are going to happen. You'll notice that when I join one of my channel meetings, and I'm going to join this blue group channel now, up here at the top I have participants, chat, raise your hand, and more actions. This is gallery, large gallery. That's only going to happen if I have a lot of people here. So I'm going to leave this. Now I'm going to show you about breakout rooms. So breakout rooms happen a different way. So I'm going to go into my actual calendar and I'm going to create a new meeting, um, let's say for today, and I'm going to say test meeting. Now you'll notice I'm not adding a channel. I do have to have someone in the meeting, so I'm going to pick someone who I know and I've already told ahead of time that they're going to be getting this uh, so they don't freak out. And I'm going to just maybe have details. I can type in my details. Let's meet to discuss XYZ. But I'm not going to add a channel. I am going to go ahead and send it to her. And it will pop up right here. Now when I go in and join this meeting, I'm going to join it now. You'll notice something different. Up here, I have my participants, my conversations, my raise your hand, but I also have my breakout rooms. This only happens at this point in time when it is not associated with a specific channel and it is just a scheduled calendar meet. So if I were going to um, in, pull in my students, I would have to invite all of my students. Now, I can go ahead and join this meeting with one other person and that way she and I maybe are um, the presenters and then we can invite them this way. So I may be able to pull in my students this way because these are my students that I have. Uh, let me stop calling him. Oh, oh well, I apologize. Um, and this is how we're going to do our breakouts. It has to be in this way. And once there, everyone's in here, I can automatically assign one person to one room. Uh, that's only because we have one person in the room. Uh, or manually attach them to uh, all of the different rooms. How many rooms do I want? I'm going to do here. Maybe there's eight rooms and I can manually break out everyone in and create my rooms this way. I'm going to leave that so that he doesn't actually answer. And those are the differences between channels and breakout rooms. I hope you found this helpful. This has been another 
5-Minute to Teacher Tutorial, a nickel clip by Wendy Vasquez, and QUEZ Instruction.